Hi everyone, this is Gary from Biohackers Lab and this is my day 25 update on my carnivore diet experiment. Today is the 26th of January 2018 and uh, so far today I've um, just had a, a little bit of food, didn't have as much as I normally have, um, just felt full today. Um, ketone levels 0.3 millimolar, glucose um, I think it was sub 5, I just checked it now. Um, uh, so all all fine there. I just had a fantastic chat with Amber O'Hearn, and she's a person um, who's been on the carnivore diet since 2009. So I got to ask her lots of different questions on our interview, which will be one of the Biohackers Lab podcast interviews that will be going out, and I'll let you know when that happens. Um, so yeah, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel or to me on iTunes, then you'll you'll get the update with Amber's um, talk, but. Guess some highlights there that I can give you already as a sneak preview was talking about meal timings, how that naturally happens where you you actually only end up um, usually eating one or two meals a day normally, sometimes three, but typically because you're eating that much protein, you feel so satiated, and this is exactly what I found. Where you know it's I I'm, I was saying to Amber how I'm finding it quite common at times where. Even though I eat dinner, well, my last meal of the day, between like four to five somewhere, then I don't eat again until sometimes one o'clock the next day. And that's she does the same thing, and she said that's why, what, what um, she typically finds too. Um, we even talked about low carb flu, um, keto flu, um, people transitioning. We talked a lot about different women's issues too because she's a female. Um, so that was really good to know. I did ask some of your questions that you you left. I, I managed to get them in. Um, there was also uh, talking about the different kinds of meat. Surprisingly, the one question I did ask her was, does she know anyone? Because, I mean, she's been in the community for a long time. Did she know any carnivore people who've been eating predominantly seafood or fish? And she didn't know actually of anyone, so I'm I'm fascinated to know. It, it, I think I did ask it in one of the, my vlogs, how um, I wondered if there's someone out there who eats predominantly fish and seafood as a carnivorous diet. Uh, probably would have to go more to either coastal regions or Scandinavia, maybe Iceland, Greenland. If there's anyone up there who's eating a more carnivorous diet, um, because they would have access to that kind of um, food more. That would be interesting to know how people feel. And Amber was actually quite interested. She um she thought it would be a good experiment to try that, to see what it would be like to have like a seafood carnivorous month. Um, but yeah, that was a fantastic talk. Um, there were so many good points in that. I'm, I'm, that she was such a good person to talk to. Um, yeah, I think you're really going to enjoy it if you want to know more about the carnivorous diet, some of the history. Uh, we also talked about the difference between carnivore diet, the keto diet, and the low carb diet, and how people and people transitioning from keto to carnivore potentially, um, the the weight gain issue that some people might get. We did also talk about that, um, and a, a really interesting case study. There's a she gave me a, she gave me the details of a, another lady I should potentially speak to about that, um, of where she put a lot of weight on and then she lost a lot of weight though so she was it sounds like she was still eating a carnivore diet which caused her to gain weight initially and we talked and i talked about that with amber why that could happen amber mentioned why and then once that period was over she actually leaned out and she looks very good now and um so yeah that would be a, another interesting guest to have on the show to talk about the carnivore diet um but that's probably my biggest update today for the um from a diet point of view, if you have any comments, questions, again, I do read them. Please leave them on the Facebook page, on the YouTube channel, and um, I will post my updates again on Instagram at Biohackers Lab. This is Gary from Biohackers Lab. Thanks for watching.